Alliance and is on reaction uh, committing into the next piece. I mean, that's when this character becomes really, really dangerous. Repping the Motherland costume once again. Foxy Grandpa having his Connect microphone on. I spoke to him about this earlier last week and he said he would not do it again. But here he is again having his Connect not microphone listening. turned on. Doing once wants. again, we will once again have a stern word with this guy later on in the day. Foxy, I hope you watch your language. Please, for the love of God, watch your language. <laughs> Oh, that could be bad. That I spoke to him bad. last time. He said that he did not know his microphone was turned on. He could have said anything. Oh, no. Foxy, come on. Oh, hit confirm into the low this time. Lovely, good stuff. Bets for it. Again, this, this is, this is the, uh, the adaptation that we see Mr. Aquari have, that he makes. Here we go, both players feeling each other out, being really careful right now. Here's that jump two. I mean, the jump two has such an amazing hitbox on it. Uh, you're looking to see it land, but he converts into the dive kick. Uh, whenever he lands a jump two, whether you're in the air or not, he will convert that into a hard knockdown. I mean, Foxy really working on all of his confirms. Uh, very dangerous stuff. Mr. Aquari looking to catch that, but doesn't Tags quite get the full confirm. jump in, but doesn't go for the full combo. Back to himself, 12%. Brave parry for Mr. Aquari. Good read, doesn't quite get it. And once again, unfortunately, it does miss. Missing himself. Meet it again. Oh, Mr. Aquari's really sticking it out there. Foxy's no doubt going to be able to recognize that's going on. But, but really I think smart Foxy, play. Foxy has already seen that he's, he's done loads of parries. Gets hit by the overhead, though. Here comes Sonya's 50 50s. Doesn't quite get the combo either. That would have been big damage if he landed it. Foxy getting tagged by a lot of these 50 50s right now. Good block, but then gets tagged once again. Meter burn spin. Doesn't quite get his uh, neutral jump either. Our Mr. Aquari goes into the raw military stance. Unfortunately, doesn't bag it for him. And it will cost him round one, but really well played by Mr. Aquari. He's looking at a bar and meter here. Almost got two. Almost got a break ready. Really good play from him. Really good adaptation. Good hit confirm into the combo. How much will he get from this? Oh, unfortunately, 18%. Doesn't quite get the neutral jump either. Both players dropping a few things. I mean, that jump too has such a good hitbox. Runs in, doesn't quite get it because uh, Mr. Aquari gets a good jump with the dive kick. And it punishes the dive kick with the, uh, the low hat. One Ooh. of the interesting things, Kung Lao can actually combo off that low hat if it lands. Um, obviously, in those situations where well, if he sprints with it and makes the read, that it's going to hit that he can. But it can't be done on reaction. Not just conventionally, anyway. Full combo from Mr. Aquari into hard knockdown. What is the mix-up? Mia Ban teleport just to throw him in the corner. Ooh, does he get caught by some buttons? Cornered himself as a Sonya, but manages to throw it straight back in. That's one of the things that someone will always do. They'll corner themselves, but instantly do a throw into the corner. Because you, you, you realize that they're in the corner, so maybe it's your turn to start going nuts. And that's the jailing from the jump. I mean, something that Foxy gets so much mileage out of. Uh, what a read on the parry. I mean, it's like Foxy Grandpa just in Aquarius' head right now. Oh, brutality in again. I'm pretty sure everyone that has watched Foxy play right now is, is sick of this brutality well, by now. This brutality is no longer hype. It kind of just, he's going to say Learn it. from this. Yep, there you go. Like, that used to be interesting, but now it's kind of just, eh. But, cool. It, speaking, speaking of the match itself, though, uh, Mr. Aquari being, he's quite risky there, being very risky. Um, going for a lot of parries, but you can't parry jump-ins. I mean, that's one of the big deals, that you cannot parry a jump-in. Um, I think Foxy acknowledging that, jailing with a jump-in into the teleport. Once again here, he tries to wake up parry, but it just doesn't quite, it doesn't work. I mean, Kung Lao is in the air so often. Um, I really think your chances of parrying Kung Lao uh, may not be very strong anyway, because Mia Burn Spin can't really parry that. Um, a lot of the grounded normals, he's not really going to do them. He's going to go for um, jump in attacks. And the jump two being such a it's strong a normal. It, it's just a read at the end of the day. Like, if he if he makes the read, if he's successful, he's successful. If it misses, you know, tough luck, better luck next time. But if you're doing stuff like that, it will limit your opponent's options from attacking you. If you're going for parry every time, they will hesitate to attack. And that might be all you need to win that round next time, you know? It's conditioning, it's putting that in your opponent's head. Enforcing the threat. Do. Enforcing yeah. the threat. Enforce it as an option. I mean, uh, going into game two now, Mr. Aquari is sticking with Sonya in the same variation. But uh, he's got games to work with. He's only one down at the moment out of a three out of five set. He's got games. Backdash is chased down with the low hat once again. Again, more sort of conservative. Foxy sort of sitting on that miscreen, gets tagged by the overhead. This will be a full combo from Mr. Aquari. Lovely meter burn restand, but too far away to capitalize. Commits the dive kick, uh, the uh, cartwheel anyway, but does get the hit. Foxy tries to convert, but was unable to sprint to so to try and dive kick, but it was too far away. Just the jailing again into the throw. Combo's off the low hat. I mean, that's one of the sneaky things. Throw a low hat and run in with it. On block, you get a good situation. Oh, wow, the overhead does catch it behind. Crazy hitbox. No hat on his head. Doesn't you last time. That, that's something you really have to do against Kung Lao. Is when you realize the hat has not respawned, go in. With no hat on his head, Kung Lao cannot low hat. He cannot spin. It really limits his options defensively and offensively. Make the most of that time when it hasn't respawned. We haven't seen uh, Foxy go for too many meter burn spins, but honestly, he really hasn't had to go to it very much. This will take out the round. Um, but Mr. Aquari just, uh, he's making some interesting reads. 
but it's, it's, it's just not paying off for him. That's what's happening. Gets the overhead. Good read, but no, unfortunately, she doesn't commit into the cartwheel in time. Or goes for the low. Cheeky low. Gets an overhead once again. This will be a full combo. What is the setup? What, what is the mix-up? What comes next? That's the question. Maybe I teleport. Again, it worked last time and it worked again. Puts Grandpa now completely out of that situation. Ooh, does get the jump punch. Into overhead again. Good. Confirmed by Mr. Query. How much is he going to get from this? 25% into the corner carry. Ooh, commits into the low, but unfortunately doesn't quite get the hit confirmed either. Forced Interesting break. break. Chooses to opt, opt to break that. Gets a good sweep. Gets the round as well. I mean, that was uh, a risky break. But Mr. Okori does pull that through, and uh, I guess the reality there is that Sonya doesn't really need meter to do damage. That's one of the things that she can do. In Covert Ops, as long as she's got military stunt, she's going to hurt you. She catches that standing string and she converts. She is doing damage. I think Foxy might try and run in with the low hat once again. Mr. Okori caught sleeping on that low hat. Oh, dash into 50-50. Oh, tries to whip punish. Could be a burn spin. I mean, just at that range, it still works. It's just such a powerful option. Hit confirms into the spin. 22%, not too much, but he gets the hard knockdown in the corner, which is what he needs. No whip punish, Mr. Cray, but he gets the overhead anyway. This is quite big. I mean, oh, drops the combo, but it doesn't really matter because he still gets the confirm. Oh, whip punish with the wake up meat burn spin. No meter now. Foxy Grandpa does catch it. Foxy going to the wake up jump is like an often an option. The good use of the armor there. Foxy knowing he was going to build the bar for the meat burn hat, but Mr. Aquari with a really good armor through. Lovely run just to get under that. He needs to keep it together. Now he's got a little health. Like the dive kick will get him a lot of damage, but a whiff punish that will cost him quite dearly. I'm certain that parry was an executional error. Oh, he was trying to build meter. He is close to one bar. That could be all he needs. Oh, tries to use the environment interaction. Foxy gets a run. I'm not sure if that was an error or not. So many jump twos. Oh, he fed it on the hat. No, he was waiting for it. Foxy was waiting for it that time. He was building bar. Like he, that's why he was doing the parries. He was trying to build a bar. What is like? What is Sonya going to be building that bar for? It's not going to be dive kicks. It's not going to be arc kicks. It's going to be for the parry. So as soon as you see him get that, that's then the option you wait for, and that's what happened. It was again. It was a, it was a make or break parry, really. I mean, if you land the parry, you get good damage. I mean, she gets a full combo from a meter burn parry. But which would have won the game? Uh, that's two games. It's been break. It is make or break, but that's two games in a row. It has cost him. So that's two for two now. It has cost him the game. So we're going to have to see if he uh, plays a bit more calm. Will he possibly change character or variation? We'll have to wait and see. I think one of the things we see here is that Mr. Aquari is being he's being more careful now. He's not he's being doing as well. he's explosive. Not, he's not getting walked all over. Like he is putting damage on the table. He's bringing rounds to like he's taking rounds off Foxy. Like he is doing well. He just needs to really slow himself down. Like when he's got when he hasn't got the life lead. Doing those dive kicks becomes quite predictable. and that's Especially if Kung Lao, if he's got meter burn for the spin as well, Kung Lao will meter burn spin those dive kicks if he's in range for it. But going into the next match, looks like uh, once again, Mr. Quarry has stuck with the variation. Um, a good call, I think. Like I said, I don't think the variation uh, was the fault of those losses. Um, and he's going to just try and make the adaptation that is required. But meter burn, uh, sorry, Buzz saw Kung Lao building so much meter on all of these block strings. But Foxy just all over him right now. Good block on the low. No any cross up spin. Very uncharacteristic of Foxy there. I mean, he had the three bars, there was no reason to not do it. Maybe he's just trying to get out of the corner and conserve it. All goes to the normal wake up spin. I imagine that, that was enough. a meter burn attempt. That Unfortunately, through. that mistake has cost him two bars of meter and all of his sprint. Mr. Aquarius letting him get it back, playing very defensively right now. Low hat, just checking the opponent. The, the range on that jump, too, so strong. Get the good trade. Mr. Aquarius actually taking these trades quite well, but he does eat the full jump in, forced to break. You, it's very easy to underestimate the range there. Uh, very, very easy to underestimate the range on uh, that. The, the, the sheer hitbox of that jump, too. Pretty nuts. So match point, Foxy Grandpa looking to once again make it to the semi-finals over Mr. Aquari. He's, he's blocking the low hats really well. Um, I mean, he's, he's doing a good job of just not letting Kung Lao bully him as much. Tagged by the low. low. I mean, he's got three full combos and Foxy Grandpa is still looking at over 50% health. I mean, that's the problem with dropping. Gets it this time. Nice restand. restand. Doesn't quite get the combo. He was literally both times there. I'm certain those strings were not what he wanted. I mean, it's heartbreaking when you spend the bar on the meter burn grab, but don't get the follow up. No Lovely punish. patience, but no punish. Confirms the this time. And again, another drop. Mr. He's looking pretty broken right now. Mr. Aquari looks like he is not managing to keep it together. Dropping every combo, not getting punishes. He gets a full jump in like this. is looking bad for Aquari right now. Kung Lao getting a clean punish on that dive kick. And once again, a whiff punish. I don't think he's going to try and let Aquari. He's doing all these single hits because he does not want Mr. Aquari to break. Because Mr. Aquari isn't going to break it now. But now he doesn't need to because he spent the bar. He lost the break and that's what he needed. <gasps> Just like that, he takes game three. It's unlikely to see uh, Foxy like, giving the space. Possibly fishing for a brutality. Maybe so, maybe so. I mean, in that situation there, 
uh, what was really saving Aquari at the end of that game was the fact that he had a breaker. So Foxy was opting to go for the single hits 